Hi, this is Daniel Rubio, Application Engineer from Ceratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video, Exporting and Assembly in Solid Edge. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. In this video, we'll see how to export an assembly out of Solid Edge, including all of the subassembly and part files with it. This is very useful in case you need to send an assembly and all of its files to a customer or supplier, for example, or if you just want to clean up all the files into one folder. Now, if you're using ST9 or newer, this is very simple. If you go to the main application button in the top left of the Solid Edge window, Share, there's a Pack and Go tool. In here, you can see all of the files, and you can choose to include the drawings and simulation results for this assembly. You can choose to copy all of the files to a single folder, or maintain the folder structure as it is. Next, you need to define where you want to save all of the files. You can choose a folder with the browse button, or you can immediately save all the files into a zip file. And that's really it, very simple. Now keep in mind, this is only if you have ST9 or newer. So if you have ST8 or an older version, you need to use another method. First, I'd like to remind you all about Command Finder here at the bottom of the Solid window. As I type in Manager, at the bottom of the results you can see Design Manager. Now this used to be called Revision Manager. If you weren't aware of this Design Manager or formerly known as Revision Manager, you should really look into it by the way. This is what you should use anytime you need to rename files, move files, or copy files as we're doing here. Now this may look slightly different if you're on an older version, for example, you might see a command called set path instead of the edit path that I will use here. In here, you'll see a listing of the assembly and all of the files. So clicking expand all and then select all, I have instantly grabbed all of the files for this assembly. Now I can simply click save as and then edit path. And in the window that pops up, I can choose a folder I want to save all of these files to. You can see the new location update for all of the files. The last step is to click the Perform Actions button, and all of those files are saved for you. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com slash events.